Hello! Hello everyone! Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're only like two hours late. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. No, I had uh, I had some stuff that I had to take care of today like I told y'all last night. So uh, we're a little later than, uh, you know, scheduled or whatever. But we're here! And we're playing some, some Resident Evil and 3, specifically, Nemesis. Not the remake. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PlayStation. Well, one originally. Still playing it on the PS3 with the PS2 controller because uh, I haven't been able to find a replacement controller, which is kind of sad. At least like the PlayStation 2 controller has like all the functionality that you need at least to play PS3 games. The only downside is like you can't go home or anything like that. So because uh, there's no home button, right? So the only way to like restart the game or do anything like that is to kind of just restart the entire console, the PS3, which, you know, isn't the worst thing in the world, but could certainly be better. Um, right, right, okay, so we're, we're Carlos, we just did the shit at the hospital last time, and we need to give Jill lay medicine. Okay, we can, we can do that. I don't think there's any way to, like, hand off all of this stuff to Jill, sadly. Excuse me, oh boy. Although, it'd be really cool if we could like give her the assault rifle and and all the other bs but yeah as far as i'm aware there's like no way to do that to hand off junk from one character to the other excuse me for a moment hey are you oh, okay? random coughing fit yes barely what's going on no way that monster just doesn't give up what? I thought we killed that thing. No, it's been waiting for you. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Still kind of trash that as soon as Carlos saves us, he just fucking pieces the hell out. Like, hey, we know that, like, we just gave you this vaccine, and we're not 100% sure if it's going to fix you up or anything like that. And uh, thanks for, like, saving our ass back there with the whole nemesis thing and whatnot, but I got some shit to do, so you can just take care of yourself, right? Like... Bruh. <laughs> like, way to be a shit, dude. Like, a literal shit. I can't, I can't even imagine, like, what the hell is going through their head right now. Alright, so what do we, what do we got? We, we don't have any ammo for the Magnum, so no point carrying that around. The mine thing is interesting, but seems kind of, I don't know, trash. Let's get our shotgun back out, because we had a bunch of ammo for it, right? Uh, yeah, we'll carry the pistol too, because why not, I guess? You know what I mean? Uh, pistol. Where's the pistol ammo? We just want to kind of refill it. Other than that, we don't really want to carry it around. Oh, that was the shotgun. And there's the shotgun ammo. Okay. So we just want to quickly... We're out of heals, too. That's another thing. During the Nemesis fight, we kind of, like, used up basically everything we had. Like, it was... That was a tough fight, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I struggled with that one. Let's do just a tiny bit of inventory management. We're not going to do a ton, but like, let's let's grab all this gunpowder real quick. Um, did I miss one? No, okay. Grab all the gunpowder and get it together at least. Maybe maybe grab the reloading tool too. That would be that would be handy. Cause holy shit, how many how many do we have? You know, like it's just all over the place. All right, and then like just I don't know, just throw them all down here. You know, you can go there. You can go. You can go there. Uh, there, uh, up there. I did see during the last round that we played, the last last time that we played, I did see something about uh, being able to mix ammunition to make like more shotgun shells and shit. So all that ammo should come in handy eventually. But right now we don't really need it. Right now it's just kind of in the way, and it's so spread out it makes it really hard to find or do anything with. So. There we go. Let's get all let's get all of our herbs together too. So technically we have enough for one full heal, right? 
Like we could do, we could mix the three green herbs together and, and use that as one one big full heal thing. But I'd rather I'd rather not. TBH though. I guess I'll grab the blue too. You know what? No, fuck the blue, man. I ain't even gonna. I ain't even messing with it. Leave the blue. Ain't nobody need the blue shit. I don't even know where you get poison. I guess probably from the spiders. Like we haven't really had any issues with that yet, though. All right. Is there anything interactable? Nothing more. Oh, that's right. We already came in here, right? Whenever we were originally playing through the section, we came through here with her and uh, got the whole like uh, fucking. I think it was just ammo or something like that in there, right? And then, okay, so... Nemesis was running around here whenever we were just playing with Carlos. I don't know if he'll still be running around. I mean, I'm hoping not. That whole door is gone now, though. Uh, What was this door? This door is there, so that's where we need to go, I guess. Is there anything in here we could have missed? No, nah, probably not. Probably not. Let's just go through the big door and hope that our ass isn't getting eaten by fucking Nemesis. Because that would be trash. Like, that would be actual trash. Okay, there's some blue shit. There's Nemesis. Hi, guy. Um, we can't go that way. That way is bad way. Nope. Keep running. Uh, Jesus, run, Jill. Run. <laughs> Stop getting stuck on stuff, bro. You just gotta go. Go. Don't stop running. Nemesis is gonna eat your ass and not in a good way, I promise. Uh, let's go to the other save room. So we want to go down the hall because even though Nemesis is gonna try and fuck us up, uh, I think there may have been some red herbs out here somewhere with Carlos. Because we actually, we had to play through the Carlos section twice because I fucking suck. I used up all the ammo and, uh... We, we, we died. So, like, we had to play through it again. But I could have swore the first time I went through the Carlos stuff, I had more red herbs that I had picked up. And I haven't seen them since. So the only thing I can think of is that these uh, dogs that I apparently forgot to equip something for ammo to. Hold on. Hold on. Fucking dogs. Fire dogs. Uh, are you, are you, are you, can you just stay down, please? Please stay, okay, that one's done. Ah, no, Jill, Jill, shoot it, <laughs> shoot it, Jill. How much ammo do we have left? Zero. Okay, glad I checked, because, uh, yeah, although that sucks that we're not going to have to waste some shotgun ammo on something that was probably just about dead. But, uh, you know what? Better than dying, that's for sure. Okay, no, no red ammo out here, so that was kind of a, a massive waste of ammo. Man, maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. Maybe I didn't actually pick up more red herbs than I just thought I did or something? I don't know, man. I could have swore that I had some that I was carrying around with Carlos. We had the green herb. We just dropped those off with him, which I'm kind of wishing we would have left now, but it's like it's too late now, you know? Uh, I'm just going to carry around the other the other ammo, the handgun ammo, at least for now. We can always like drop it off later or something. I don't know. Uh, whatever. It feels like it's mostly useless at this point, the handgun, but for little situations where there's just one or two zombies, or uh, like those dogs there or whatever, it's kind of nice to, to have it so we don't have to waste our shotgun ammo. Since that's where the majority of our actual, you know, power, our, our stopping power, ability to kill things comes from. Um, I'm kind of surprised he's not in here. Wait a second. Am I blind? Where's the door? Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I was looking all over the fucking place for this door and it's literally right in front of me, dude. Like, you just had to take another three steps forward and the door would show itself to you. Basically touching it. Did we kill everything in here? I think so. Either we killed everything or it just doesn't spawn with Jill. It only spawns with Carlos. That's a maybe. One of the neat things about this game seems to be how it doesn't always spawn the same things in the same areas and whatnot. Like, it, it has a little bit of variance, which is pretty cool. I really do like that about this game. 
I think I prefer that over having two entirely different characters to play through. Because when there's two entirely different characters to play through, I feel like I have to play through the game twice, you know? But whenever it's just the one character, but a little bit different. Can you shoot the dude, please? Uh, oh, he's actually dead. Uh, uh, Jill? Shoot the one right behind you! <laughs> I was actually kind of trying to shoot the barrel. But, uh, that didn't work. That's okay, though. We can, we can equip... Not that, you dumbass. Equip the handgun. You already had the other one equipped. And then maybe you can shoot the barrel? There you go. That should kill him. Alright, how do we get through here, though? It's locked with a simple lock. Oh, so we probably need the lock pick. Okay, well, at least the, the loading zone's not too far away. Hey, Rue! Glad you can make him in. The main gate of Raccoon Park. It's locked. Okay. Simple lock, so we just need the lock pick. Got it. Just gotta run back a couple screens. Hopefully don't get fucked by Nemesis in the meantime. I mean, he's got them tentacles now, which is kind of nice and all, but like, mm, I don't know. He's a little too rough, even for my tastes. Uh, Lord. Oh boy. I have no idea like how much longer's left in this game. I'm really hoping though that, uh, the roughly two hours that we have to play today will be enough to to get through it i'm enjoying the game like don't get me wrong i'm having a lot of fun with it it's a good game definitely suggest people try it out but uh like it's just it's i'm just ready to go on to something else you know probably a little bit of odin sphere is what we talked about before right right play a little bit of that on saturdays how many times have you died so far zero today in general a lot more than zero but <laughs> Today, we haven't had any deaths. Now, I've only actually been playing for, like, 12-ish minutes or something like that, though. Because, uh, I was helping the Dorseman move today, of course. And, uh, I didn't get home until a little bit, a little bit later. But, we got all, pretty much all of the stuff out of his apartment that he had before. Uh, all packed up. I wasn't able to help him move it into the new house, or I definitely wouldn't have made it home today. But, uh, you know, at least I was able to help him get it all packed up and whatnot, and... Get him a little bit closer to being in his new place. I'm just sad I didn't get the free pizza, right? Because they were buying pizza. But I had to leave. Trash. Sorry, he said he would give me a meal later. <laughs> the next meal's on me, man. So, that's fair. That's that's more than enough for me. Offer me free food and I'll do just about anything for you. Like, <laughs> oh boy. No, it's good. I, uh, don't know what we're doing. You've used the lockpick. Excellent. Do we still need to carry around the lockpick? Probably not. I have no idea how many times the lockpick is going to be. Is this another save room already? This is the save room music, isn't it? Yeah, there's a freaking uh, thing right there, too. A typewriter. Holy shit. With more ink ribbons? Hell yeah. Take the ink ribbons. Uh, let's drop off our junk, I guess, first. And pick up whatever the hell this is. The park key. Okay. Dope. Uh, I just don't understand why there's so many save points in this little tiny area. Um, we don't actually, like, need a save right now because we didn't do anything. All we did was walk here, which took a grand total of, like, three minutes. Uh, but, I mean, I guess we'll save anyways, right? Because it just gave us three more... Yeah, yeah, save thingies. Ink ribbons to save with. Hey, grenade rounds. Yeah, we'll definitely take that too. Anything else? Anything else? New? It looks like there might be a photo on the table though. Nothing special? You're nothing special, game. Give me give me the photo. That's gotta be a photo. Photo E. The zombies are attacking. That's that's the photo. <laughs> that's what photo E shows us, guys. The zombies are attacking. It looked pretty obvious to me, but, uh, hey, I'm glad it let us know. Uh, yeah, save over that, please, and thank you. Hurt. Might as well drop off this shit in the box. We got some, some room in our inventory. Inventory management, of course, is a uber apart import of, uh, this game. Resident Evil games in general, man. There are just as much inventory simulators as the, like, inventory management simulators as they are survival horror games, TBH. 
Why the fuck would you take a photo with zombies coming at you? That's an excellent question. Uh, I don't really have an answer for you. I guess maybe it's like if you know you're gonna die anyways, then you can like try to help the next people by by giving them a little bit of information with your photo. I don't know, but then how did it get developed, right? Like, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I'm still so happy that this game has that mechanic. Like, whenever a key or whatever is done, it just throws it the fuck away. Like, it doesn't make you hold on to it. Oh, hi there, creepy, creepy boy. Uh, map, please. What do we got? We got an area that I can't go to yet on the right. And then we got the area to the left. So, uh, I, I still want to go over here and look, though. Oh, wait. That doesn't look blocked off. That doesn't look blocked off at all. I thought it was red. Maybe I'm just blind. What's actually over here, then? A swamp? It looks a little swampy. Oh! Hi there! Uh, I didn't know you guys lived in the water. Are you, like, frog people or something? <laughs> I like frogs, I promise. Please don't murder me. This is going on a lot farther than I thought it would. Uh, but it... Jesus. Why? Why would you do that to me? Open the inventory, dude, please. Combine, are you trying to die? We don't have heals, man. Get up. Ah! Are they both dead? I think they're both dead. Thank freaking goodness. Those dudes hurt too. Like we're already in caution, man. Uh, okay, the, ah, explodey barrel. Ah, run away, run, run away, stop. Keep taking hits and just run away. Don't shoot the barrel. Holy shit, I was scared, man. Okay, so we're like, we're pretty close to dying now. Uh, <laughs> take the park key. Okay, so we've gotten another park key. He's holding something else. Written order to the supervisors. Crab people, crab people look like crab walk like people. What? <laughs> I feel like that's from something. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Mission requirements. Bravo 16-1. Oh, no. Bravo 16. Objective 1. Uh, obtain and secure a sample of all the information pertaining to this case. Observe and record combat data on the UBCS. Don't know what that is. Uh, ultra big cunt sickles? Um, sure. Destroy all the evidence, including the medical facility that has the medical treatment data. Check the guinea pig's ability to accomplish the mission. Once your mission is complete, evacuate the area. Remember that you must not help anyone who is not a supervisor, nor bring anything back that might be traced to where it belongs. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> hey, Nate, I, he I see that you can't uh, hear, but I, I hope dinner goes well with the family. Uh, because, yeah, like... <laughs> hey, Magnum Rounds. That's fucking dope, dude. We can totally use that. I feel like, I don't know, it never feels like a good time to carry the Magnum because we have, it's locked. I'm guessing that's not the key that we picked up doesn't work for this one then. Um, but anyways, because the Magnum is so like exclusive of a weapon or whatever, that it never feels like a good time to use it. And we're always so low on ammo, you know? But at the same time, it's like, Dude, it's a powerful ass weapon. We should probably just use it to the best of our advantage, you know? Oh well though. Tis fine. Um wasn't there a creepy dude up in here on the other side? I would love to think that it's the same creepy dudes that we just killed here, but probably not. Probably not. Which means we need to be really careful, because if we take more hits, we are fucked. No! Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Are you dead? I don't see you bleeding. Okay, you're dead. We need some red herbs. Would be fantastic. Um, like, that would actually be extremely helpful. If we could get some of those. Oh, there was another one in here. We gotta be careful with that. Because now that we've reloaded the area, I don't know where he's gonna be in here. We gotta, we gotta watch for that. Because one more hit and we're probably dead. Okay, he's down there. Uh, can you jump up here? It doesn't look like it. Hopefully not. Okay, you can definitely jump over there, though. Ooh, 
Oh boy. Holy shit, you can actually see mod view now? Hell yeah, dude. Did you not, like, was it not working for you before or something? Because you've been modded for a while. It'd be, appear to be under construction. Dope. Okay, well, we got three more greens and two blues. That is not at all what we wanted. <laughs> the three greens is enough to heal us. So, like, that's nice and all. But really what we want is uh, just some red so we can take all the greens that we already have and turn them into full heals. Um, I'm not going to pick up the blues right now. If I remember, I'll come back for them. What is this? Control panel for the fountain. Will you open the lid? Sure. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Nothing happened. Maybe we should, like, fucking look at the sign here or something. Uh, <laughs> now my screen made it hard to watch while being in my view, so you just stayed normal view. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. The shape of the fountain changes based on the combination of the gears. Oh... Okay, I don't really understand. How does the shape of the fountain change? Okay, well, I, I imagine we need to get over to there then. Right? That's probably, like, the goal. But how do we... What do you mean the shape of the fountain changes? Is this not the fountain right here? Uh... Are we going to die? Why do I feel like something's going to come and murder us? Refer to the illustration to drain the pool. Okay, two black on top, two white on bottom. What is mod view? Uh, I don't think you can hear me, but mod view is just a way where you can see more stuff as a mod. <laughs> That's going on. Okay, so we want the two black on top. The two white on bottom. start I mean that was easy enough hopefully now that we've drained it no like zombros show up to, to murder me okay now that we drained it can we change it um I'm guessing we probably want the bottom option I'm thinking so white black black white okay or black white white black Black, white, white, black. Black, white, white, black. Okay, control panel for the fountain. Will you open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we want... No, don't freaking... What are you doing? <laughs> Jill, don't hit that button. Ain't nobody tell you to hit that button yet. That's... Okay, cool. Like, I'm glad it's squirting some water out of the top there, but I don't... I don't think that's really helping me. It's the sword near the chat, chat box where you can mess with the stream about. Uh, mess with the stream. <laughs> Capitalization is important there. Is, uh, what, black, white, white, black, right? Like that? I'm assuming that's a good thing. I don't know why. But, like, I don't really know what we're doing with the fountain. I'm not going to lie. It looks like we should be, go over, be able to go over here, but we definitely can't. It looks like we need to go there. Right? Because, like, there's a door over there that it shows on the map. But I don't know how to get over there. Now that we've messed with the fountain, can we, like... Oh, wait. Do we actually, like, go down in here? Oh, down into the sewer. That sounds like a terrible idea. Let's, let's fucking go, I guess. Oh, I'm sure this won't end poorly. I'm sure this won't end poorly at all. Something's gonna come out of the sewer pipes and fucking murder me. Uh. Uh, why is everything shaking? Uh, what is that sound? Shoot him! 
Oh my god. You know what? Just fuck it then. Run and go up. Go up the ladder. I don't think there was anywhere else down there <laughs> that we could go. I don't think. Maybe we could have walked around the corner or something. But I don't know. I'm hoping not. Okay. A single red herb would be super chill right now. Oh, good. We're in a graveyard with, with Zombros. Hi, Zombro. Um, you're one dude right now, so we should really probably, like, use the other gun. Just so we're not wasting more shotgun ammo than we need to. Save the ammo where possible. Oh shit, I was half joking, man. I swear I don't add. <laughs> don't actually drown and die. I mean, at least if we do die, like, it's not that big of a deal, right? Because we haven't done anything really just yet. Okay, uh, shotgun time. Mash the fucking button. Okay, there we go. So I think that one in front's probably dead. And we should be able to handle the other one with just the, the pistol. Yeah, he's dead. Are you dead? Question mark? It looks like you're bleeding. Good job. Good job, me. Um. Okay, here's a door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's all red herb. Is it just one? I really hope it's like two or three, but I saw at least one red herb. How do we get over there, though? I guess we go the other way, but there's probably going to be more zombies that pop up. Told ya. Okay. Just the one, hopefully, at a time. Nope, they're, they're both coming. We might be okay. Good, good, good. Okay. They're not dead, though. They're just on the ground. That's important to note. <laughs> like, dudes are still alive. Oh, wait. That one's actually dead, dead. Are you dead, dead? No, no. Stay off. Don't touch my ankles. They're my ankles. No Zombros are allowed to touch. Dope. Yes, take the red herb. Get a full heal going. Combine you with you. And pick up the other. We really needed that. We had, like, no health stuff left besides the, the green herbs. So that is perfect. Hey, Mr. Noodle. So happy you can make it, love. I hope work is going better today than it has the past couple of days. And I'm really happy to see you. Alfred Cones, 1923 to 1986. Can we check out any of the other ones? Or I guess not. What about Patrick? Mr. Star? Sir? No? Okay. Aaron Burr, sir? Dude, I need to watch Hamilton again. It's been so long. Yeah, throw away the key. We don't need it. Get rid of it. You don't want to talk about it? What, work today? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're more than welcome to rant and chat. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't use, like, people's real names or anything like that because, you know. But, like, you're more than welcome to fucking... <laughs> to rant. Uh, okay. So, we can catch that on fire. That's good. There is ammo or something. Alcohol bottles. So, there's, there's useful shit here. But we kind of need a safe zone to be able to do anything with any of this. Maintenance tools are placed here. Can I take it? Yes. Take the iron pipe. I don't know what the hell an iron pipe's going to do for us. Let's go through the next screen. Just to see, like, maybe we'll get lucky and this will be a safe area or something. Because if we could get a safe zone closer to where we're at, instead of, uh... Yes, dude, that's, that's why we came over here. And look at that, another fucking full heal. Hell yes, dude. You got a fresh truck today? I'm sorry. Yeah, she was telling me, like, on the way to work, that's the one thing she really didn't want to happen today. Because there was already so much shit that she had to, or at least wanted to get done. Like, it wasn't required to get done today, the other stuff. But she was really hoping she could. And the fresh truck just messes that all up. Because, you know, that has to be done, too. Uh, let's store some of this extra shit. We need the... The light tour. Where... Where is the light tour? Tour of light, please. Thank you. There you are. Uh, keep the straight pipe, because or iron pipe, whatever. Because I don't really know what that's used for or going to be used for. But uh, I'm sure since it gave it to us, we'll probably end up needing it soon. And then let's save, bro. Definitely save. We have so many ink ribbons right now. 
there is absolutely no reason not to fucking save, you know? Then the guy tipped the rotator with the damaged milk. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, thank God it was outside. That'd be nasty trying to clean it all up inside. Especially damaged milk. Like, was any of it spoiled or was it just like the, the ones that were busted or whatever? Hopefully none of them were like rotten or anything. That's That'd be real gross. Not the milk. The milk. It was expired milk? Gross. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's nasty, love. Oh, jeez. Ooh, something behind the firewood. What do we got? I have never seen wood burn that quickly before. That is, that is crazy. Uh, yeah, sure. Throw away the lighter if we don't need it. Light can be seen from the back of the fireplace. Okay. Can I, like, look in it or something? Can I use the pipe on it? Oh, shit. We can use the pipe on it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't, didn't know that would work. It's just, like, the pipe was the last thing it gave us, so I just, you know. Fuck it. YOLO. Uh, don't go through it, though. Yet, please. Thank you. Because there's a bunch of stuff on this table that I'd like to pick up. Yes, I know there's deserted alcohol bottles, but what about, like, the ammo-looking shit right there, Jill? Can you maybe pick that up? Oh my god, Jill, like the red bottles. Oh, they're on the other side of the table. Look, you could have you could have leaned over that table and got them. Gunpowder A, please, and thank you. Is that B or C the yellow? I don't I don't know what C looks like, and I don't remember what B looks like. It is type B, okay. So two A's and a B. Two A's and a B. That's what we want to mix. Two A's and a B. We take the A. Nope, that's a B. We take the A, we combine it with the A, then we take the AA and combine it with the B, and that gives us AAB. That's what we want. AAB is good. AAB is good. Shotgun shells. Yes. <laughs> we want as many shotgun shells as possible. That is, at least as of now, our gun of choice. Uh, the Magnum is more powerful, I am certain. But, like, it's so much harder to come by that it's, like, not worth it. Dude, Noodle and I had a little date day the other day. We had a cookout and whatnot. It was very nice. Uh, but while we were there, there were a shit ton of mosquitoes. And mosquitoes usually just, like, ignore me. They, they hardly ever fuck with me at all. But I actually got, like, two or three mosquito bites this time. And they're bugging the crap out of me. Um, like, my elbow. One's right on my elbow. And it's just, it's itchy as fuck. Okay, so we want you. We want you. And the reloading tool. A, 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 with the B. There we go. Combine that with that. Shotgun shells. More. Ooh, enhanced ammo. Hell yeah, dude. SG shell type E. I don't know how much better those are than standard, but like, fuck yeah, we'll take it. Uh, I think at this point, we might be safe to just go ahead and get rid of the, the, the handgun ammo too, like... Right, like the handgun. You know, we'll still carry it around, especially because I think that's is 17 one clip. No, it's like 12 or something, isn't it? 15. Really? We got two shots? Never mind. We're just going to carry it around. You had a stock case of water, quickly recover the store. Those got done, and then when you were getting ready to give your cashier her break, the truck finally showed up after being days late. So both of our breaks are late. I'm taking mine now, and then I have to quickly stock milk and try to finish the ad. I'm sorry, love. Hopefully, the day, the rest of the day will go by pretty quick for you at least. That's the one, the one benefit of being busy at work, right? Like, it, it usually helps the day go by pretty quick, so. Hopefully, since you got plenty to do, you'll, uh... The time will fly by. You're so tired. Honestly, I'm pretty tired, too, after, after helping the Dorseman move all his junk around. But, uh, it was good, though. It was good exercise and whatnot, you know? No complaints, and he did offer to buy me a meal, so I mean, fuck. Do you have a couple of mosquito bites around your ankles or your leggings came up? That sucks, especially, like, if your socks or shoes or anything rub up against you. Like, how'd that go? It's good. We got pretty much the his entire apartment packed up into the truck. Uh, I just didn't get to help unpack any of the stuff, so I'm not sure how well that's going. Hopefully, it's going well for him. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll hear from him at some point, but I doubt it because, like, his computer and everything's packed up. So, yeah. 
The endurance ability of the contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs and release them, they would return to their units and then turns into zombies. This plan may work well for us in the future. Weird. Uh, I think the wording was a little bit off there, translation or whatever. Uh, in certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but it'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there is a giant alligator, but I have only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to ima imagine what creature spawned that monster. I encountered Nemesis. Dude, is this game the one with the giant alligator, or was that the last one? I think that was actually Resident Evil 2. Hold on for a sec. Sorry, I had a bit of a, a little tickly tickle thing in my throat. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have become one of them by now. If it is still walking around in the city, its mission is not yet over. Star's members must be very tough, since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. Ha! Fucking watch me, dick. <laughs> You've taken the supervisor's report, okay. How do they know of the supervisor's goal? Or not the supervisor, how does the supervisor know of uh, Nemesis's goal? They must have been taking part in it in one way or another. A drawing of Raccoon City, the police station, and the hospital are marked. Huh, why would they be marked? Facts from the HQ. Attention, the Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. Bruh, we getting fucked. The whole place gonna be blown to smithereens. Your pizza is extra good. You were starving. Mine was too by the time I got home. After moving all that furniture and everything. Oh man, sitting down for a couple slices of pizza. I ate a uh, slice of cheesecake for dessert with it. The the box cheesecake that Noodle made for me. Oh boy, delicious. Sorry, Rue. <laughs> we're always we're always talking about food when you're trying to trying to do a bit better about that sort of stuff. But uh, mm, it hit the spot. That's for sure. Right, what's this do? It's set to the auto receive mode. Okay, I guess I guess there's nothing we can really do with it. Uh, this key that we picked up is, uh, I'm assuming all the way over here then for this area. Since we, uh, I mean, I don't know of any other locks that it could be, whoa. Speak of auto-receive, what, what, what are we all getting? All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. Okay, return where? Wait, are they returning here? Are we gonna are we gonna fight like real people? <laughs> you guys I'm suck. I'm sorry. I managed to stay alive up until now. Dun dun dun. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this. In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. I don't like all this shaking and Another shit, dude. Mutant. Oh, good. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Um, since we have like 16 million ink ribbons, I think I'm gonna do another save. <laughs> just, just for shits and gigs. Like, you do get a score at the end of the game, and the less times you save, the better your score is. But like, I just, I don't want to risk it at this point, man. I just, I just want to live. Coward. 
Me or the dude? Because, I mean, both are true at this point. <laughs> I'm being a bit of a coward, but so so is he. Can't blame just me. Uh, What else? We need the ink ribbon to actually do the save, though. Like, that, that comes in handy. Kind of hard to save without the ink ribbon. The dude, he is a coward. They're all cowards, man. Uh, yes, use the ink ribbon. Do our 20 second save, question mark? 20, yeah, 20 second. Graveyard 22. Yeah, I don't know like what the new game plus modes are like in Resident Evil 3. I know on the other ones, I, I think you could unlock like the true evil difficulty or whatever the hell they called it. It was an even more difficult version of the game. And it would add stuff like uh, each chest being its own chest, not all like interdimensional chests that are somehow linked to each other. Um, like harder to kill zombies, all the all the other stuff that you would expect with a difficulty bump. But I never actually fucked with any of that, to be honest. I just played on whatever the normal or hard mode was that was actually available at start, and then uh, never fucked with it beyond that. What's going on? Whoa! Oh, this is fine. This is, this is all fine. What the fuck? Oh no. It's another sandworm. <laughs> it's fucking, uh, the, what's the name of that, that thing, that movie, Tremors. It's fucking Tremors, dude. Can we just run away from it? Like, I'd rather not fight this thing if we don't have to. Like, fighting it just sounds like a bad idea. Uh, hello? Game? You're showing me an exit here? I don't see an exit. Okay, I guess we have no choice. Uh, you know what? This seems like a good opportunity. Yes, I know normal ammo and I want to take it out. Thank you, Noodle, for the, for the bits. I appreciate it, love. Uh, how do we... I want to empty it. <laughs> Check. Easy to carry, so I use this 12-gauge shotgun. Show. I, I get that. Uh, combine. Now? No. Uh, fuck. I guess, I guess, uh, I guess we just gotta use it with the normal shells. I don't see anything else we can do. That's one giant larva thing. Uh, God, I can't, I can't move. Like, I can't do anything. It's just, it's just gonna eat me slowly. Uh, okay. Is it gonna pop up again? Uh, game. Oh God! Just, just keep shooting. Shoot it, you dumb! Oh, damn! We're out of, we're out of ammo. That's my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. We're dead. We're very dead. You sound stressed. I am fine. No stress at all. Not even a little, man. We're good. You can add some of my stress that onto that. I'll pass on that, man. Like. I don't think my anxiety needs any extra stress added on to it, TBH. <laughs> I think I think we got enough of that going on for ourselves. Alright, well now that we know what's coming up, maybe it would be a good idea to bring the rocket launcher with us. Or the, uh, the other gun. The, uh... Uh, the Magnum. But, like, I don't know, man. I feel like we probably don't need it. Right, like, the, the better... The better shotgun shells and shotgun, I feel like, would probably be enough. We're going to try it one more time with just the regular stuff. Um, I will take one extra full heal with us, at least. Just for, just for, like, you know, safety or whatever. But I think we're going to be okay. Okay, that's fair. I'm sorry, love. If I could actually take your stress from you and not, like... Uh, go crazy myself or something like I totally would but like sadly I don't think that's actually possible <laughs> I can give you like chocolates and back rubs when you get home that's that's what I can do to take your stress from you okay go back over here again uh, before we do anything unless it throws us straight into the pit it didn't I was gonna say we should probably just go ahead and equip that get it up and going and then get ready for for giant worm bro i i didn't want to go into the menu i wanted i, I just wanted to skip the cutscene that i thought was about to happen 
There we go. This cutscene. Skip it. On? Can't skip it? There it goes. I guess it just takes a moment. Uh, turn around and run. Okay. Knowing that there is like the twig turn key is actually very helpful. Now that I know that's a thing, like... Uh... Ah, uh, run away! Shit, dumbass. Okay, yep. Stop loading! Stop loading and run! <laughs> run, Jill, run! Okay, we actually... I think we still got one more hit before we're, before we're like, seriously damaged. Ah, damn it, it reloaded before I got a chance to put the other one in. We need to count our shots. Trying to like bait him out into jumping up out of the, the ground. Uh, turn and. Oh no, don't turn that way, turn that way! <laughs> Joe, you dumbass! Okay, turn quickly. Uh, Jill, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. You're going the wrong way, Jill! Uh, I haven't been. I haven't been counting shots. We should be. Okay, two shots out. Uh, worm? Worm bro? Uh, worm bro? One. And run. Please run. Please run, Joe. Is it gonna come out or? What's it doing? Okay, there it is. Okay. Don't reload. Reload with the, the good ammo. You only have like 10 minutes left on your break? I'm sorry, love. He said, hopefully the rest of your day passes quickly, at least. Ooh. Okay. Run. No, wait. Don't run. He's underground. Oh, wait. Did we do it? Is that GG? We're getting, we're getting some rumbling. Some rumbling going on. Did that change the map or something? Can we do something? I don't... I don't know. You finish your assignments, but you're nervous as hell to turn them in because you're not sure if you got the charts to look right. I'm sure you've done fine, man. Like, I, I, I get it with anxiety, you know, that's that's not a huge help, but like, I believe in you. I believe you did you did well. Uh, also, okay, that hurts. Like, we're being shocked in the water. Um, are we, do we need to like bait that thing into the water somehow? I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure where we're going or what we're trying to do at this point. That's a good sign. Oh, fuck, hi! I think it's dead. It's steaming. It's crying. Dude, I think we did it! I think we did it. Hell freaking yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm totally not used to Excel, let alone Google Sheets, so I'm hecking nervous. I use Google Sheets all the time, but I don't usually do, like, uh, charts and stuff like that. Death to the worm! It's, uh, looks a little weird. <laughs> Will you climb up the fence? Yes. Like, the, 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 like, purpley shit that it turned into when it disintegrated looks a little odd. Why does it show us climbing down a ladder? Shouldn't we be going up? Oh, no, it's because worms. Okay. Cool. More worms. That's, that's exactly what we needed in our life. Oh, good, they're in the water, too. That's that's excellent, guys. You know what you know what I like? Leeches, worms, all those things. Beautiful, wonderful. Ten out of ten. Wish they would put more of them in the game. Fucking not. <laughs> Jesus. Uh let's check our ammo situation. We have one shot left. That's good to know. Important to remember. And before Nemesis shows up now. Dude, I hope we don't have to, like, kill Nemesis again to actually, like, beat the game. Because fighting Nemesis the first time was hard enough, like... And I imagine he'll only be harder the second time we have to fight him, if we have to fight him a second time. Oh, good, there's a lot more Zombros now than there were before. Uh, swap to the regular ammo, because we're not fighting anyone big. Um... Ooh, you just blew his fucking head off, dude. That was sick. Good job, Jill. Good job, Jill. Let's hope this time, if we do have to fight Nemesis, he stays down. I hope so. <laughs> dude is too much, man. Okay, this area is quiet, which is a little scary. 
I don't know if I like it being quiet. Um. Hmm, okay. Maybe, maybe everything's fine. You know, maybe, maybe we worry too much. There we go. See, it was all good. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, discard it. Throw it in that trash bin over there. Or should I say rubbish bin? Anybody out there call it a rubbish bin? <laughs> what is, where are we now? Are we still in the park? No, we're on the outside of the park. Is this a map? I'm a map. 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 Uh, oh, hi. I think we found Nemesis. Joe, if you don't hurry the hell up, <laughs> that tentacle isn't just going to go through that wood. Um, what's our decision? Push him off or jump off? Uh, push him off if possible. I, that's not going to even slightly harm him. Like, he'll probably be back up here in no time flat. <laughs> uh, okay, that's explosives. We learned that last time. We're going to try and remember that. It is electronically locked. That's very helpful. Thank you, game. For, for giving me no hints whatsoever. What do we got here? This door is also locked, but does it give us a hint? Treatment control room. And then anything in the the rubbish? No. Okay. Check out the door then. Carlos. Carlos. Jill, listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks. Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. I don't think it's so much that they're trying to cover their tracks. So much as like, you know, there's a giant fucking zombie outbreak. <laughs> Like, if the government doesn't blow this shit up, then it's just gonna get worse, man. Like, I, I think it might have more to do with that than trying to hide the whole zombie thing. Thank you for all of the gunpowder, though. Like, we will gladly take that. How the fuck do you know, Carlos? I mean, we could just believe him. You know, he said he heard it from a supervisor. Maybe he did hear it from a supervisor. I don't know. I, uh, I'm choosing, I'm still choosing to believe in Carlos right now. Like, he's he's a little sketch, sure, but, like, I'm, I'm hoping it's just, you know, it's, it's a rough time right now for everybody. <laughs> I'm hoping that's all it is. What supervisor, though? Probably, uh, one of his supervisors. The, the, like, the dude that we just spoke to. That wants us basically dead. Um, okay, I was hoping to find a situation to use this handgun up, but I also kind of want to reload my ammo. So I guess put one of the Bs back, take an A, and then, oh, dude, we got enough to make two more fucking things. Perfect. Okay, combine, combine, combine. And then I guess we need to pull out the reloading bench. Inventory management is becoming a problem. If it would at least let you combine stuff from here, it would make stuff so much easier, but sadly, it does not. And combine you with you. Yes. Enhanced ammo, please. And then same thing again. Excelente. That's how you say excellent in Spanish. Probably not. <laughs> I know next to no Spanish. Uh, goodbye, wish me luck. I wish you luck, love. I'm sure it'll go by quick, at least. You'll be home in no time for, for baths and, and, uh, chocolate. And if you want some, a little bit of cuddles before D&D, &D, if D&D &D even happens tonight, I don't know if it is or not, then we can do that. Maybe we could watch a quick episode of Rugrats. We could do that when you get home. Whatever you need, love. Okay, return... 
that. We are carrying, like, way too much ammo, though, now. <laughs> like, with the two different types, the handgun ammo, the handgun, we definitely need to use that handgun up. Hopefully, there's just, like, some regular zombies out here now. And, uh... And that'll help, like, clean up some space, because we'll be able to fucking get rid of it. You can say fuck bitch and a few other words, and that's it. I mean, hey, that's what helps me when I'm at work. That and crying in the coolers, you know? Like, <laughs> you might get to go to a drag show? Where are you going to go to a drag show at? Like, is there a one of the local bars or something like that? Or you going to, uh, into one of the cities around us with, with one of your friends? That's exciting for you, though. I know you love drag. I don't understand it myself, but, uh... I know you're into it, so hell yeah, dude. Oh, manager's diary. I completely missed this. April 25th. Today is my 30th birthday. I was transferred to this facility today. I'm very happy because the work environment is very different from life in the university. May 14th. The disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system, since it is not 100% stable yet. May 20th. While I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the key card, it's useless when you are locked inside. June 7th. The guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. The system is not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions and I am getting extremely frustrated. July 16th. We can't dispose of all the bodies and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. July 29th. This dude seems to be having some issues like... With your sister down the road from work? Hell yeah. I didn't even know they did, like, drag shows at any of the bars, like, in town in town. That's pretty cool. Though the function of the system decreases, the number of the bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level has increased, and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I've continued to work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. That's kind of fucking dark, dude. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Oh, dude, more fucking ink ribbons? They're just handing them out left and right now. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Like, but we'll, we'll take them. I'm not going to say no to free fucking ink ribbons. Does anybody else here, like, ha has anybody else here ever used a typewriter? I fucking love typewriters in real life. I don't own one anymore, but when I was younger, I had one, and it was so much fun to use. Like, I never wrote any serious papers on it or anything, just short stories and things like that, but, like, I fucking love typewriters. They just feel really good to use, and all the clickety-clacks and watching the hammers go up and everything. It's a lot of fun. If you ever get the chance to use a typewriter and you haven't, totally suggest it. Like, really cool. Your grandmother still has hers, actually? That's awesome, man. Doesn't work, but it was cool to mess with. Does it just not have an ink ribbon, or does, like... Because, like, they're relatively simple machines, right? So if it doesn't work, you might be able to get it fixed if you ever... If you ever wanted to. Obviously, like, these days, there's not actually a whole lot of use for them, unless you really want that retro feel whenever, uh... Uh... Whenever you're, you're writing something or typing something up or whatever, but, yeah. It's not a bar. Oh. You'll have to tell me more later then. I don't know. Or in DMs or something. You might not get to go because two people already have that day requested off. You've been having so much trouble with that lately, love. I hope... I hope you get to go. No ink ribbon and the quote-unquote delete button is broke too. I mean, you can't really delete with a uh, with a typewriter anyway, so I think that's probably okay. Is it like the, the next page button? Is that what you mean by quote-unquote delete or... Are those, are those blue? I mean, they look blue, but they look like something else is mixed in them. Speaking of, we forgot to pick up those other blue herbs. I mean, I guess I'll take them since the, uh, save room's right there and we can just drop them off. I don't know why the game has given us so many blue ink, blue things, though, whenever, like, they're fucking useless to us. I'm assuming going through that steam would be a bad time. Uh... So yeah, maybe we'll just not do that. Like, go through the steam. A card key reader? Don't we still have, like, the stars card key thing? But I'm assuming that's not what... Not what it wants. 
there was a button that oh that did white out that's cool mine uh the one the one that we had growing up that i used to play with all the time definitely did not do that at least not that i know of that's really neat though I don't know if I'm crazy or if I'm remembering this correctly, but I feel like either, like, one of the typewriters, I feel like it had a fucking, uh, like a, a red ribbon, too, so you could, like, switch between red and black ink. So if you were doing, like, edits or something like that, you could use red, and otherwise you could use, use black. But I, I might be, I might be mistaken. I might be, like, just fucking making that up or thinking of something else. But that sounds right for, to me for some reason. Okay, it's, it's starting to bother me. I'm gonna I'm gonna move all these these blues around a little bit. I uh, I guess we'll just like leave some space and put them down here. Any other blue? Blue to go with the green? Uh, Mr. Mr. Blue. I'm blue. Double D double die. Double D double die. Double double D double die. I don't even know the words to that song. Does anybody know the words to that song? I feel like. You just say stuff, and that's that's all there is to it, you know? You just make shit up and, and make sounds with your mouth and throw blue in there every once in a while, and that's that's the song. No, I'm joking. I'm sure there are words, but I don't fucking know what they are. No clue. We have so much blue herb. Like, you can mix the blue in with the red and the green to make, like, a, a full heal that also does poison or whatever. But I don't really see the point right now. Like, <laughs> uh, what song? Oh, that one. <laughs> nah, it's this. You gonna you gonna copy paste it for us? Did we end up saving? I think we did, right? I'm blue. Daba d, daba die, daba d, daba die. See, that's pretty much how I always sang it too. But I I don't know if that's actually right or not, or like if I'm just you know crazy. That's perfectly possible also i just looked over at the clock there's also a creepy dude there so that's good to know i just looked over at the clock and it has been an hour so we actually need to take a real quick break guys it won't be long just a couple of minutes so i can let an ad run so one doesn't play in the middle of the gameplay and uh also gives me a chance to get a drink and stretch and do all that sort of fun stuff so we'll be back in like uh two three minutes guys I Maynard the Mortz's helper bot. I don't remember these things. Well, I remember the secret bee. That was like the giant thing that was flying around, right? We had to like chase it down the first time we were here. Also, a chest with rupees. Yes. Aw, oh, Kit is so cute. Kit is pretty amazing, man. Agreed with you there. Hi, little robots. Are the weird frog things attacking the robots? Are we on the same side? Uh, also, out of ammo already. Holy shit, the ammo never lasts long enough, man. We need we need little minions. Exploding robot minions. <laughs> I love it. There's just random explosions of rupees everywhere. <laughs> Because these, these little robots that are coming in are like one hit kill. And then we just got our glove of doom putting in some work, man. Why does the Emperor hate the Morts? Was there a reason for that? Or like... Nobody cares. Losing. Repeatedly. Oh, wait. No, that was the big one talking. <laughs> Damn, is Panda Express normally this good? This is the first time you've ever had it? Man, back when I still ate, like, Chinese food because, uh, you know, the whole allergic to shrimp thing, I actually really like Panda Express, too. I mean, I think, like, a local Chinese place is usually better IMO. But Panda Express is still, you know, A+, plus, especially in a pinch. And for as fast as you get it? Mm, hell yeah. yeah keep laughing. I don't think there's any way for us to get over there. Guess we gotta go the long way around. Me over Classy. 
And Dr. Nefarious is getting whipped by his own other self, you right? We gotta get all the secrets though. We'll get there. The morts are gonna be fine. I promise. Gotta collect all the rupees. Or sorry, rubies. Quote unquote. Wink wink, you know. Totally rubies, not rupees. Glove of Doom go. And let's get some fun guys in here, man. Fun guys always put in some work. Honestly, I think the fun guy is my favorite freaking weapon. Like. Ah, oh, that's right. We also got the drone now. I forgot all about the drone. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> you adore this place by a mall called China Pantry. It's delicious. Can't say I've ever heard of a uh, China Pantry. I'm assuming it's a local thing for you. But pretty much any local Chinese place is A+. Plus. Like, I don't think I've ever been to a bad Chinese restaurant. Even the Chinese buffets that you see. Where like it is definitely the cheapest Chinese food they could possibly make. Or Chinese American food. Even then, delicious, you know? Like, <laughs> all that salt and MSG, it's just, mm, beautiful. <laughs> More than likely, they're fast, delicious, and rotate their food depending on the day. Hey, that's awesome. One day, I... Hello. I'm back. I was munching on a blue raspberry Tootsie Pop. I don't really care for, like, okay, I like Tootsie Rolls, but, like, inside of a Tootsie Pop is the worst way to have a Tootsie Roll. But blue raspberry lollipops are literally the best, man. Like, it may be my favorite food, just in general. It's so fucking good. Well, not, like, favorite food, but favorite, like, sweet food. Blue raspberry dum dum lollipops. Oh my god. They're fucking amazing. Okay, so there's definitely a zombie in here somewhere. I haven't seen him yet somehow, but. I right, take the system disc. Don't know what we're gonna do with it. Uh, hi. Uh, there's a lot of you, and you're actually walking kind of fast. Uh. Uh. Shotgun, please. Uh, hello, everyone knows that blue dum dum or blue raspberry dum dums are the the best. Uh, absolutely, dude. I've seen that you can like get uh, bags of just all one flavor dum dums, and I want to so bad, but I haven't seen any like in person, only online. One of these days, I'm going to order some though. Just like, oh shit, hi. Uh, this that's not gonna do fast enough. Yep. Are you out of ammo yet? No. Can you, like, fall back down? Please and thank you. You're actually dead. Perfect. Hey, perfect timing, too. We are out of ammo. But yeah, that's, like, my dream, dude. It's just to get a bag of nothing but blue raspberry dum-dums. Ah. Hell fucking yeah, dude. That and, like, uh, another thing that I've seen. They actually sold this at the store for a little while, but I they were all sold out whenever I went to look for some. Uh, Lucky Charm, all marshmallows. Like, bags of just marshmallows of Lucky Charms. Dude. Like, so good. I I wouldn't be able to eat all that many of them. But I still want it. Because it sounds fucking amazing, you know? Uh, okay, equip the shotgun back up. And just the regular ammo should be fine for now. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I didn't mean to actually, like, go anywhere. I was just... I thought it was, like, a button or something to interact with. Will you push the button? Not yet. Let's, uh, let's do finish exploring where we're at a little bit, maybe, first. Like, you hoard those things whenever you find them? The blue raspberry dum-dums or, uh, the, the, the marshmallows? <laughs> Both are, uh, acceptable answers, to be, to be clear here. System power, standby mode, water check error, manual verification is required to unlock. Okay, so we got to go down to check the water level to do anything else. That's fair. Was there anything to do in the room before here? There was another door. Oh, uh, but I don't... What do we got? We got the system disk now and that's it, right? See, so yeah, I don't know where the fuck to do to do the system disk, to put the system disk. Uh, regardless, though, we need to, like... Uh, we need to to drop off some of the the stuff that we picked up because our inventory's full.
And we can finally get rid of the handgun, too. The dum-dums, I have a drawer full of them. They don't expire, right? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I mean, I'm sure they technically expire, but since lollipops are like 99% sugar, um, even if they have like a, a technical expiration date, I doubt they would actually go bad, right? Because it's just, it's sugar and sugar doesn't go bad. Like it, it could, could get hard or whatever. But sugar on its own isn't going to uh, go bad. Uh, okay, so we actually do still have that key that we might be able to do something with. Let's check this room again now. Well, no, we got the facility key or whatever in here. But we got the system disk. Can we put the system disk anywhere? Or is the system disk what we picked up in here? Fuck if I remember. Oh, there's also this elevator thing. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. We need a card key. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Alright, so we're probably gonna have to... Fuck, I don't know the order of operations here. <laughs> For what we need to do. I have no idea. Some of them I might have gotten months ago. According to the maker, they have a life of 36 months. You might have to toss them. Like I said, I'm sure it would technically be okay to eat. Um, but I totally understand wanting to toss them if the maker says they're bad because like that's that's how that's how i am with it as well pemdos believe it or not i was just talking about pemdos when i was helping uh dorseman move i have no idea why but he asked me what the order of operations was and so like you know i told him <laughs> okay that's also card key based so that means the only thing we can do right now is go down here uh, or please excuse my dear aunt sally that's the uh, the other the other one, right? The dead factory map. Who calls their factory the dead factory? That just like <laughs> that just sounds like a uh, bad fucking idea. <laughs> yep, yep. We both we both had it. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Well, thanks anyways, game. There must be something here that can poison you. Like, I don't know if we've come across it at all, but like, yeah. There's gotta be something because it keeps popping up with those fucking blue herbs all over the place, you know? Push the button. Or uh, pull the lever. My brother's sharing some weird ass shit on Discord. That's uh, on his Discord. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. I'm I'm glad that like you were there before I even had a chance to move. Oh good, yep, yep, just keep sucking on my face, dude. Uh you know, consent is a thing that uh you fucking dick Turn around and shoot. <laughs> oh my god, there's more of them. Oh my god. Run away, run away, run away. Uh we need health, like so bad. Also, we apparently need ammo, so... Is it dead? Like, it didn't even give us a chance to move, dude. These things just started popping up. Holy hell. Wait, were those... Guinea pigs or whatever? Because, like, they kept saying, like, they had the guinea pigs that they had to destroy or get rid of. Uh, it displays an error message. Functioning, it displays an error message. Yes, I get that. Um... Do we need the system disk? New. Okay. Uh, I guess we go down here and hope that nothing tries to eat our ass. Sure, go through this door. I'm sure it'll be fine. You also remember my very elegant mother sat upon nine pins? I don't know that one. MV. MV, my multiplication now. What does that one stand for? I can't, I, I don't recognize that one off the top of my head. No, oh, hi, okay, Creep, creepyzoids, uh, frog dudes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, turn around, Jill, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and uh, something, I don't know. The filter system seems to be completely blocked. A liquid with a nasty odor is leaking out. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm sure there's nothing bad there at all. Uh, hmm. 
Is there anything that I can pick up down here? No, nothing like stuck in the grate that's useful? Fine. Jill, go up, please. The nine plant. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sure. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> I think I may have actually heard that before now that you mentioned that it's for the planets, but I'm, uh, I've am i never been very good at remembering stuff like that, but my very elegant mother just sat upon nine pins. Okay, okay. Are we talking like bowling pins or like little needle pins or either way, sitting on nine of them sounds like a bad time. Unless you're into, you know, bowling, I guess. <laughs> Security manual. Security of the plant. Since this plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory, civilians will sometimes enter. If this should occur, do not hesitate to shoot them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the fuck, dude? If they choose to surrender, arrest and then transfer them to the laboratory as new guinea pigs. You will be rewarded. Maintenance of the device. That's fucked up, dude. This entire plant is controlled by an epidemic prevention system. When contamination is detected in the treatment room or decomposed specimen pool, the plant will automatically be locked down for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will automatically lock down. Then you must remain in the plant and wait for subsequent orders. Those who leave the facility without permission will suffer extreme consequences. Awesome. Uh, will you take the water sample? Sure. I don't know what we need water sample for. I'm sure the game will show us any moment now. Right, game? Uh, game? <laughs> Hint, please. Help. Uh, is that more ink ribbons on the front of there? That looks like more ink ribbons. Holy hell, dude. It is. Holy shit. Okay, well, fuck, yeah, whatever. Let's save again. We use the ink ribbon? Sure, why not? Save everywhere, apparently. The game's being a little too generous, which scares me, like, a lot. <laughs> I feel like that means we're going to die soon. Uh, probably repeatedly. But hopefully not. Where were the other ones? We must have had them up here somewhere. There she blows. Okay, so we got a water sample. I'm assuming that's going to be required in some way of getting the lockdown to end. But it is suspicious. Very much so, man. Like, there's no way. Like, it never gave us this many before, right? Also, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah. My bad. Uh, okay, so this way, that door. Thank ya. Hmm, down the stairs. What do we got down here? Ooh, a lab of some sort, eh? I'm clicking, I'm clicking on everything. I see first aid spray, very nice. I will gladly accept that because we have no full heals on us at the moment. Uh, some broken things. There's a tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. Is that for the system disc, I'm assuming? Nope, I guess not. Never mind. So what the hell goes there? Water pollution alert. Uh, to maintain safety, the lock will not be released until a manual check has been performed. Okay. Place to check the water quality. A water sample seems to be required. I have one used is it is it good I don't there's a vice to check the water quality will you operate it sure uh what which rave range would you adjust I guess what are we trying to get it to result we're trying to get it to be blank. So. C. Uh, oh, they move left and right. Wait, what? Check. What's it do? I 
I don't know what the goal is here. The result graph is different from the sample. Which wave range will you adjust? B. Check? I don't... Left? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we need to adjust all three to try to get it to zero or whatever? Maybe? I don't know, man. Uh, back, A, move, A, so A's just the same repeating pattern, back, what if we put B one further to the right? So it's three and then like that. So that's, uh, and then, and then blue over one to the right. I don't know, man, I'm, I'm guessing here. I don't really understand this puzzle. That, that's not gonna work, right? Okay, so we want to get the result and the sample the same. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what to do. So we need the sample. We need three in the beginning and then a blank. So that's the that's what we're going to focus on. We need all three in the beginning and then a blank. So that means that B needs to move to the left at least one. Right? So then there's three and a blank and then we need two in a row so what we could do is move c to the left a couple times and that would kind of do that right because that would yeah two and then but then we need one there uh okay so what if we keep moving you to the left a bunch what if we did like that right and then well no because we need all three again in the next row so that's telling me we probably need to move a over a bit a needs to move to the right no it needs to go to the right again ah oh, shit yeah no i guess a has to go like this right oh wait no there is one that's different right there there's only a one skip so like that maybe and then c Uh, okay, so we need, and then C can go right, right. It needs to have one in the first spot, none in the second spot, none in the third. I don't know if that's possible with this, though. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to get that. So that means B probably needs to move. Right, yeah, okay. So back, so back to B. And then if we move B to the right, what do we get? Nope, because we gotta have at least one. So like that. No, shit, because that would put one in the second spot. Fuck, dude, okay. What about that? That's one, two, nope, no good. And then one, two, three, nope, that's two there, so that's no good. That's one, two, three, one, two, blank, one, two, three, one, 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 two, one, two, three, one, two. Ah, oh, damn, we're just missing. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I think this is it. I think we got it. Yeah, boy, let's go. Did it. Done. Done and dusted. Waller, water, Waller. <laughs> Fuck. Water quality check has passed the safety level. Dope. Freaking geniuses, dude. I'm sure there was a much shorter sequence we could have done to get the same result, but don't care. We did it. There's a tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. So is there, like, another way to do this or something? Because ultraviolet rays are usually used to, like, purify things. 
So could we have just purified our own sample before we put it in there to make it easier for ourselves? Watch for the portion with no wave when adjusting the data. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back down here to purify something else or something with the ultraviolet machine. I have no idea. I don't know if that was for easy mode or like a, a different version of that puzzle or what, but we did it. So cool. <laughs> That's all that matters. It's done. Um, right. Yeah. So we want to go from here and go back upstairs now. Okay. Any more, like, creepazoids gonna gonna show up and try to fuck us? No? Hopefully not. We don't, we don't need none of that smoke. Though the froggy dudes don't do the most damage in the world. Uh, these guys are kind of scary, though. I'd prefer if they would die. Why are you not dead? You too. Go away. Two shotguns? No, three shotguns. Okay. Four? Oh, okay. I thought he was about to flip back up, dude. I was about to be pissed. All right, give yourself some more ammo. Thank you. Can we do anything with this now? No, it just still shows error messages or whatever. Okay. Does that not look like ammo boxes on the bottom down there? Oh, dude, hell yeah, and they're actually shotgun shells, too. So a gun we actually use, we're getting ammo for. The game is being way too kind right now. It's very scary. Like, <laughs> and before Nemesis shows up and fucking destroys us. It's filled with a nasty smelling liquid. Fair, okay, maybe it's best not to go in it. You're right, you're right. Especially since, like, the whole facility has been talking about contamination and shit. Back up we go. Zombies. I'm ready. I'm holding the trigger button. Or the, the like, aim button. I'm prepared. No. Okay. Deep breaths. We're good. Seems to have been installed recently. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't really tell us anything, but... Be prepared. Always be prepared. Boy Scout 101. Okay, so far so good. Um, I don't remember exactly where we were going. <laughs> we need a key card still. That's what we needed, right? Oh wait, there was that other door in here. Uh, where we came up the elevator at. There was another door around the corner that we couldn't go in before. That's where we were trying to go. Was it in this room? Yes. Yeah, this one. Let's go back around, and then instead of this way, we actually want to go, yeah. Here we are. It's locked by a system. Right. System power standby mode, water check, okay. Manual verification is required to unlock it. I did! I did the manual verification! What else do you want? Shit. Locked by a system. Do I need... What else do I need to do? Game! Game, what do you want from me? Um, yeah, push the button, whatever, go back down. I can't actually think of what else I need to do down here, right? We got the water sample, we, we, we cleared it. I mean, we still have the system disk, but I can't figure out where or what to do with it. Because uh, we try to use it here where it just says error a million times and it says I don't need this. So that's not, that's not where we go. We go back down here. That UV area said something about having space for a plastic disk, but whenever we mess with that, it doesn't do anything. This is just the sewer section that we can run through. 
take us in between the two areas, right? Like, there's not another exit here that I'm running past like some sort of idiot, is there? No, no, okay, just the two. So we got the save zone here. Nothing more there. It's just instruments there. This shit over here should just be safe stuff. Yep. Go through this door. And that takes us right back down to where we just were. What the hell am I missing, man? I must be looking past something. Am I blind? Am I being blind as hell right now? Uh... Click an X. Nothing. Do we click on this again? Water check is okay. Water quality check has passed the safety level. Excellent. Ultraviolet rays are applied to the water. There's a tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. Use. Can't do that. Okay, I'm assuming we need to get like a, a key card or something for that section. And I haven't found a key card yet. Unless it wants the stars card, but... Why would stars be allowed to do anything down here? That doesn't, that wouldn't make any sense. Stars and Umbrella are like enemies or some shit, right? <laughs> they have a, a biological weapon hunting for us right now. I don't think our, our key card is going to be suitable for getting through whatever the fuck that is. All right, fuck it. Go back upstairs and mess around with more shit up there then, I guess. I'm, I'm a little bit lost right now, I'm not gonna lie. There's like those two locked doors, but I don't think we can do anything with either one, right? I was moving my hoodie off my chair. My cat's just sitting on the bed staring at me like, what the fuck are you doing, human? Filled with ma nasty smelling liquid, yes. Yes, it is. Can I just like shoot the computer to make it start working? Or maybe uh, like smack it a couple times, you know? That works in real life sometimes. Just beat it around a little bit until it starts doing whatever it is that you want it or need it to do. Okay, so there's this thing. Some kind of observation system is running. It seems to have been installed recently. Right. I was thinking maybe I could put, like, the disc in here or something. But, I mean, we haven't tried. No, yeah, okay. Nothing. Click here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. On this side, it just keeps saying the same fucking thing. Some kind of observation system is running. Seems to have been installed recently. Yeah, no shit. Thank you. I appreciate that game. Okay, whatever. Go through this door then. I'm assuming this door will still be locked. Yeah. Electronically locked. There's a card key reader. System disk is not a card key. Yep. That's what I that's what I thought. That's what I what I suspected. <laughs> um Dead Factory first floor. I don't even know how to get into that room. Oh, probably has that elevator there on the other side of the one save room. Probably has something to do with that since those two line up like fucking perfectly. Let's go back to that first room. Maybe maybe we can walk through the steam. And it won't just murder us instantly. Yeah, it's gotta be. Unless the steam's done now and or there's some way to get the steam to, to stop or something. Yep, nope. Okay, yep, yep. Stop trying to go through it. It's obviously not working. Elevator won't move because it's locked with the card key. No fucking shit, game. I see this button looking thing on the wall. I tried to press it before. Did I miss? Seriously? I must have fucking missed it. I saw that button there and I tried to press it and it didn't do shit. Yes, press the button. Uh, hello? 
Yes, push that button too. Game. Push the button. Push the button. What? <laughs> okay, do I need to go back and forth? Maybe I need to go back and forth. Okay. Push that button. And then go to the other side and there will be another button. Yes, okay, so... Push the button. And then push the button. Okay. Now back to the other side again. <laughs> Who the hell makes a factory like this, man? This makes no sense. Why do you got all these steam vents just pumping out steam all over the place? What is the point? Set to standby Will you push the switch. Yes. Just push all the switches. Every single one. If you come across a switch, press it. Power has been supplied to the safety system. Cool. I don't know what the beeping's trying to tell me. I didn't see anything there. Okay, well that room's open now. That's good. So we can go back over there, I guess. Uh, okay, well this shit's still turned on. Can we deactivate these now? Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Uh, that still needs a key card, so we can't do that yet. Just gotta run back to that other room, I suppose. Can we save again? We haven't really done anything, but fuck it, dude. I'm just gonna save again. We have so many ink ribbons that, like, I just don't see the harm in doing it, other than lowering our score at the end of the game, but I don't really care about my score at the end of the game. All I want to do is beat the game. Preferably tonight, but I don't know if we're going to or not, man. Like, holy shit, I didn't think there was going to be this much time left. Since I'm so late getting started, I'm probably just going to keep playing until, like, I have to leave or we're done with the game, whichever one happens first. But I do have to pick Noodle up tonight from work, so I can't just play, like, all all night. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go as long as I can or until the game's done. Because I was hoping to finish it this week. But damn it, I wanted to be a good friend. Had to help out John. Didn't want to leave him all alone and stranded in his apartment that's, you know, got water and heat and electricity and really everything that you need to not be stranded. You know, kind of like it was his home or something. This is a dumb analogy. Not even an analogy, but... Why can't we be friends? Okay. Please, game! Stop with so much backtracking. Oh, big biohazard sign on the on the wall. That's good. The inside of the wall is exposed here. Someone seems to have been working on the wiring. That's a good sign, I'm sure. Uh, what is the weird white glow? Uh, <laughs> yep, You're that's... Still wandering around. Nikolai? So, you want to get out of here alone. Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survived. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great, except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund. Uh, this isn't good, guys. <laughs> um, Nikolai, Nikolai, whatever your name was, are, are you there? Look, I don't like you very much, but uh, I'd rather not deal with you and Nemesis both being like super villains. Super, super, yeah. Okay, I mean, if he, if he just wants to be dead, that's fine. I can deal with him just being dead. But, it, like, I hope... <laughs> I hope he's not dead and developing powers. Alright, system disk. We got it. Use it. Hey! Hey, try not to get that blood on you, Jill. <laughs> you don't know where that guy's been. Ooh. 
Very dark. Warning. Warning. Proceeding, Proceeding with operation in three minutes. Please evacuate immediately. Uh. Wait, where are we evacuating to? Stars. Oh, good. And he's here too. Hi! Uh. I can't do anything, by the way. Like, this is all just cutscene stuff. Uh. <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't. Uh. Can I. Can I run away? It's electronically locked. Uh. Hello? Nemesis? Ow. I kind of wanted you to press that, actually, Mr. Nemesis, sir. Uh, okay, we're still in caution, though. We're okay. I'm assuming if he hits the valves, he'll keep taking damage, right? But, like, I can't turn them, so how the fuck do I make him turn them? No, stop trying... Stop going for my legs! Go for my face! This is not going well for us. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Are we, are we, are we okay? Uh, Mr. Nemesis, sir, my safe word is coconut, and, uh, I'm screaming coconut. Like, okay, I'm standing in front of it, but I still don't understand how the dodge system works in this game. Holy fuck. I'm assuming we have to stand in front of it and then, like, dodge, right? Do we just have to keep shooting him? I'm very confused. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, I mean, that's fine. We, we, we can get back down here. Coconut nemesis, coconut! <laughs> uh, alright. Resident Evil 3 nemesis, nemesis. How to dodge. On an Xbox, the player must hold A and push the thumbstick forward. On a PlayStation, the player must hold X and push the thumbstick forward. Okay. So, but which... Re is that the remake 3 or the original 3? Because the original 3 wasn't on Xbox, right? So... <laughs> Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, how to... How to? No. How to get Nemesis to hit Valves. Uh, treatment room. Here we go. Organic waste, blah, blah, blah. Entering here, the timer starts. Jill and Nemesis does their thing. Five switches within the room that open the acid pour upon being turned, shooting them. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you just shoot them. The whole him hitting it was just like a one-time thing or whatever. Okay, that's fine then. That that kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, all right, so we know we're gonna have a fight with Nemesis, which means take all of the big stuff. We'll take the the shotgun, the Magnum, the whatever full heals we have. <sighs> Hopefully, this is the last time we ever fight Nemesis. I mean, that acid actually seemed to really hurt him, unlike anything else that we've ever come across. Because whenever he got hit by that, like, all of his tentacles disappeared, man, which is, like, pretty big. That's pretty huge. I don't think we ever took off his tentacles. <laughs> so, this might be it. This might be the last Nemesis fight, man. Fingers crossed. All right, we needed the system disc. We have to take that with us. I remember that. Um, I don't think we needed the facility key down there, did we? Uh, I feel like I feel like we should take it anyways just in case though, you know. Do we have any other full heals? We can mix up three greens if we need to, because we have a bunch. We'll mix up three greens to have one extra one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We actually have seven. We'll mix up two more sets of of the greens. Uh combine. Combine. 
We'll keep one green for one green red in case this isn't the end of the, the game, but I th think we'll be okay using a bunch up. Do we need a new safe word? Maybe. Or Nemesis just needs to learn how to fucking listen. Like, because <laughs> obviously it's not working. Do we have any suggestions? I'm down for suggestions. What are y'all's safe words? <laughs> Alright, so we have two slots left, which means we can take probably the grenade launcher. Again, I'm pretty sure the magnum's technically the stronger weapon of the two, but like... We have a lot more ammo for the grenade launcher, though. So let's take that as our backup. Backup? Backup. Everything... Everything look good. We got three full heals, a shit ton of ammo for our shotgun, a bit for the other thing. I think... I think we're set. Okay, let's, uh... Let's do it. Did we... We saved after that whole thing with... Like, the, the door's unlocked now, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's try cheese. Maybe that'll get him. We'll try it, man. Just start shouting cheese. As soon as Nemesis shows up, we all just gotta start shouting cheese. And hope for the best. <laughs> cheese, Nemesis. Cheese. Cheese, please. Although, now I'm just getting hungry. I just want cheese now. It's nice little cheese cubes, or maybe string cheese. Or fuck it, I'll just eat a block of cheese if you want to give me a block, like... Uh, not that way, this way. Right here. In that a door. And then... Okay, we're going the long way around, go this way. Door unlocked, it is, excellent. Let's go. Fuck, man. I'm a little scared, I ain't gonna lie. So it seems like the best bet is to... You're still wondering. Get Nemesis to run into the, uh... The acid or whatever, if possible. And then... Uh, insert that. And then if he still has any health left, we'll use the grenade launcher to try to take it down and i'm assuming i don't really know but i'm assuming it'll be easier to hit the acid sprayers with the shotgun than it will be with the grenade launcher maybe that's a, a bad uh a bad guess but is this not skippable uh, skippable maybe because of the timer it's unskippable Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. The select button, which is usually how you skip stuff, I think, the cutscenes, isn't doing shit, so. Good dodge, Jill. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. Go over here. I did get one little spoiler. It said something about, like, if he sees the acid coming, then, like, it won't work or whatever. Uh, but I'm assuming like oh god no I don't want to end the acid <laughs> cheese nemesis we said cheese oh god did I even hit it I don't even think I hit it man son of a bitch okay use that before we die no I wish we could just aim like a fucking normal person for fuck's sakes game Oh my god. Nemesis, jeez. I don't want to be thrown around anymore. Oh god, we're like in danger too. Oh my god, we're like stuck in this corner. We can't do shit. Uh. Oh god, Nemesis, you bastard. Oh my god, okay. We need to use another full heal. There's no way we're winning. Like, we're, we're so fucked right now. No. Turn around, Jill. Shit, like, you can't shoot it because every time you aim at it, it aims for fucking Nemesis instead of aiming for the... for the acid sprayer. Like... Oh, my lord. 
Okay, slowly but surely, turn around. Every now and then, I get a little bit lonely. I was definitely aiming at it. I don't know why I didn't hit it. Oh, good. Now, now we're out of ammo. Yep. Bruh. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Like, we're out of ammo, right? Yeah, we're out of... Or out of, uh... Heals. We're completely out of heals. And this one... That one's already been triggered, so I can't do shit there. Do the rest of them not fucking work or something? I know it's too tight to turn. That's why I was trying to shoot it. I was told I could shoot it. The internet doesn't lie. Oh, God damn it, Jill. We don't have time to be aim to be fucking reloading weapons. We're so fucking dead. I'm. How have we not died yet, honestly? Uh... Do we have any... You know what? I guess it's just time to switch to the grenade launcher and hope for the best. But I also read on the internet that, like, his health is uh, increased right now. So, like... So, I don't know how well this is actually going to work. We're also, like, out of fucking time here. Uh, combine that with that. I don't even know if we're hitting him. We are hitting him, but he's not dying. We're about to fucking die, though. Not only because, like, Nemesis is a fucking... Okay, Jill, every other time you fucking aim at him when I don't want you to, but now you can't. Please, please, Nemesis. We're, we're so fucked. Uh, we got two shots left with that. Yep, that's it. Oh no, we're still alive. Fucking run, Jill, run. Uh, what? How'd he hit it himself? I've been trying to hit that, or trying to get him to hit that one or the other for fucking ever. Couldn't do it, and then he just fucking hit it for himself? What kind of bullshit is that? Uh, we still have one shot left? I thought we were out. Oh, no. We're still not fucking dead. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we can't, like, hardly fucking move, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're out of time, though, aren't we? Is that GG because we're out of time? Or did we just have to survive? Nope. Fuck. Okay, so he's not as bad as I thought, though, at least. Like... If we just if we just do like a normal strat and shoot him, I guess. Unless we just got really lucky not dying all those times. So close, I know it felt close, didn't it? Like like he went down what two, three times, something like that? That felt good. It's alright, we'll get him we'll get him this time, hopefully. Though I think you need an ad break. You're not wrong. It has been 50 minutes. Yeah, we will do a quick uh, ad break while I load up the game and uh, probably get myself a drink. Just a, just a short one because I want to try to get... I want to really, really, really want to try to get through the game. So <laughs> just a short one so we don't end up having any ads in the middle of the game, guys. BRB. And thank you for reminding me, Ru. Real Chinese restaurant. Like somewhere that serves actual like Chinese food, not Chinese American food. Just to, just to experience it, you know? Because obviously I love Chinese American food, but uh, it'd be cool to try out like stuff actual native to China. Honestly, same. Hell yeah. I don't remember. It was an Asian country. I don't remember which one though. We were watching a recipe for, and it was uh, it was a uh, uh, coagulated blood stew or soup or whatever like that. Noodle thought it was a little weird, but I honestly think it sounded delicious. <laughs> I would eat the hell out of that. One of my favorite parts of steak is the, 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 the yummy coagulated blood. It collects up all the seasonings and whatnot. Ah, oh, it's so good. I want to try that soup. Emperor 
Very thorough, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you if you stop looking at all the the pretty shinies for a moment and uh, look at all the destruction around us, it is a little bit sad. <laughs> this is true, but uh, I prefer to just ignore that and pretend that everything is shiny and wonderful. Uh, apocalypse live, please and thank you. And you know what we haven't used in a while? The executor. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, they're they're fighting the giant dino bud. That's fine. I'm pretty sure the dino bud could take care of those robots on his own, to be honest with you. Like, the closest you've ever got was this one place called Itos in Florence. And OMFG, you and Nana would go there weekly. It was so good and wonderful. Amazing service, quiet place, and nice relaxing music. The cook was from Japan, so his food was authentic Japanese. That's amazing, man. That would be awesome. TBH. There's a, I don't remember the name of the restaurant, but we do have a Japanese, not Chinese, restaurant around us. I don't know how authentic the food is, but I did eat there one time. And it was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty damn good. I would hey, we're back. Uh, I went ahead while we were in the break and just did all of the inventory management stuff. And I decided to just say fuck it and save again so that we don't have to do the inventory management should we die again. Hopefully we won't, but... In case we do, that's one less thing we got to take care of. Going through all that, we can just fucking, uh, oh fuck, wrong door. We can just, uh, you know, load up the save and go. And I mean, we still have like nine ink ribbons or something like that. And I, I doubt there's nine ink ribbons left of the game. I don't know how much game there is left, but there can't be nine ink ribbons left, you know? Like, it, it's, this is hopefully, fingers crossed, last nemesis fight, and then we just have to escape the facility or something like that. Um, I can't imagine there's that much more to the game. But I've certainly been wrong before, so who fucking knows? Not if we kill nemesis here. Let's hope so. For good. Never see his ugly tentacly ass again. Looking like some shit out Cthulhu over here. Ugh. It's so hard to find any information about this game. If I ever, like, any time, the, the few times that I've had to look stuff up. To, to, just to help keep things progressing. Because, like, every time I try to look anything up, it brings up the new game instead. <laughs> like, every time, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discuss your bonus, whatever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we can probably skip that, huh? I was sitting here watching it, and it's like, uh... Bruh. <laughs> I'm paying attention, what do you mean? <laughs> Just because I forgot that we could skip... Oh, no, audio? Look, I have a, uh, there's a bug with, uh, Razor's drivers, um, and Windows. Sometimes it gets, like, this double-click problem. So, like, what happens is I'll click to unmute the audio, and, uh, it'll just fucking double-click. So, like, it'll turn on, and it'll turn it right back off. At least I think it's a bug in the, the, the driver and not an issue with my mouse, because I've heard a bunch of other people having the same issue. And a couple people say that the issue has, like, gone away and then come back after Windows Warning. updates and shit like that. Proceeding so I think that it's, yeah, a, an issue with, uh, with, like, the, the Razer mouse driver and, uh, Windows 10. But, anyways, yep, sorry, I, I didn't notice. Thank you for pointing it out, though. The ouch noted. Well, you got me to tell you, at least? Yes. Yes, I do, and I appreciate it a lot, really. Stars. Why is he so obsessed with stars? I'm, I'm assuming that, like, he was quote-unquote programmed to, to hate stars for some reason. But, like, I don't really understand why, you know? Alright, so let's, like, shoot him once. And then fucking run over to here. Because, like, this one did work whenever we shot it. Okay, why is it not working now? Okay, you know what? 
We're going back to the original plan then of not doing that and just rocket launching his ass as much as possible and doing it that way. Okay, we need to try not to get hit too much too though. Like, cause that's not gonna help anything. Yeah, yeah, what did I just say? <laughs> cool whip? Uh, I don't think saying cool whip's gonna work cause like then he'll probably just think that we're like, uh, that we're just, uh, you know, telling him that he's got a cool whip, son of a bitch. We're in danger, okay, use one. I was really hoping that we wouldn't take that much damage that quickly, but you know what? It is what it is, I suppose. I like this camera angle. It can it can keep this camera angle. One more. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, we got a chance to get past him. And turn around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can't have that much ammo left. How much do we have? Five. Let's try to run the fuck away. And one, two. Run away, run away, run away. Jill, Jill, get up. Get up, Jill. Jill. <laughs> you were thinking food. I mean, look, I totally get it. Food's usually on my mind too. But not the cool whip when the dude's using basically a whip. Okay, that's gotta be out of ammo. Yeah, okay. So four shots with this now. Two, no, don't shoot in the air, four, okay. Put in the good ammo. Combine that with that. One, two, three. Ah, shit. We were... Should have just ran earlier. Health is fine. Okay. One, two, three. Can you change it to harder, daddy? Uh, <laughs> again? Not sure that's gonna help. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Don't know about that one to be honest. I mean, I'm all for yelling harder, Daddy, but uh, I don't know if uh, Nemesis is going to know to stop his shit. Oh, dude, is that it? Is that actually it? That wasn't that bad once we actually just like tried to kill him like normal. Cole, how convenient. All right, we got a fucking minute to find that. Where was that dude? Where, where, okay, right there. Thank God that it's shiny. Hell fucking yeah. Take the card key. Let's fucking go, please. Uh, this is a card key reader. No fucking shit. Uh, not combined. Just use. Please, if I run out of time fucking here, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's fucking go. Okay. And hopefully, since he's stuck in there, and that's like an incinerator or whatever, you know, its whole point is to sterilize shit, hopefully that means... Nemesis is done done. Uh, okay, well, his body just went into the red goo. I don't know if that's... Is, is that gonna kill him? Mi missile attack confirmed? What? Evacuate immediately? How? Where do we go? Okay, well, we got the card key, right? We know there's that elevator that needs the card key. So let's go back to the save room in the elevator. I still have the facility key and, uh, uh, I still have the facility key and, uh, the, the ink ribbons on me. So we can just use those. Uh, these zombies seem a lot stronger than the other zombies that we've dealt with. Like, holy shit. But you know what? Fair. Hopefully they're end of game zombies and that's why they're so fucking strong. Uh, if the go doesn't, a missile shore world, a goo, if the goo doesn't, you mean? Yeah, let's fucking hope so, dude. All right, uh, we'll go in here. We'll save because fuck that nemesis fight. That one wasn't as bad as the last one, but still like, yeah, fuck that. Yes, yes, I would. I would like to use the ink ribbon, please. Um. Go to the elevator thing. I don't know where the hell that's going to take us. Resting room. Is it this door? Yes. Okay, this door. Let's fucking go. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Alright. Uh, key card. Key card. Use. 
I don't know where this is gonna take us. I don't know what we're doing. I feel like there should be a timer here, right? Like, I feel like we need to fucking rush. Cause like it just said that there's missile, confirmed missiles incoming or fired or whatever. There's a tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. Okay, uh, use. Okay, so not there. So I guess there was that one other door up top though that I think the key card can work with, right? Tiny slot where a plastic card can fit. That's the same message that we got in that uh, sterilization room. So does that mean we're gonna have to do one more big trip of just like backtracking through everything? If so, I mean like kinda trash, but at the same time, not the end of the world. Um, okay, yeah, I think it's it's this door and then we go down the hallway. Is that like garage style door, right? That also said something about needing a key card. And since we're at the end of the game, I'm just gonna keep using our, our more powerful stuff, ammo. I don't see any reason not to. Yes, discard it. Holy shit, there's a bunch of them in here. Uh, die. <laughs> you're still... Oh, okay. You're dead. I, they started moving again. I thought they were still alive, man. Scared the shit out of me. That one's still alive, though. Yeah. Not now, though. Bitch. Uh, do we have room for two green herbs? We do. I don't think we need them, but we'll pick them up, I guess. We can always just eat them if if we need the inventory space that bad. When I was in the save room, I should have ditched the grenade launcher and stuff to give us a little bit more room. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Jill, Jill, where are you? Hey, is it Carlos? If you can hear this transmission, respond immediately. See, Carlos is a bro. I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen. How does he... Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! How does he know about the device that's tracking the missile? It's a portable radar receiver. You've got the radar receiver. Okay. Can I go down here? Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Okay, cool. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. I get that. Yep, missile attack confirmed. Level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. Oh, okay. I would, I would love to if you'd stop yelling at me and let me try to run away. All right, well, we can't go that way anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, to go down the ladder, don't even think about it. Just fucking run, dude. Just go. Stop listening to the computer voice and fucking run. Uh, okay, you're not dead. Are you dead? I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to inventory really quick. I just got to get rid of this extra shit in case we have to pick up something. Uh, I'll keep the ink ribbons, I guess. And then we need to reload real quick, too. Because I'm not convinced this bro's dead. Okay, well, that one's definitely not. See, like, their bodies actually have hitboxes, too, which makes me think even more that they're not dead. But I don't know. Whatever. Just fucking go. Where... Uh, why is shit shaking? Please tell me he's not still alive. Oh, I'm sorry. There's something on the ground. I got to pick it up. I can't help myself. <laughs> Classified photo file. In my opinion, I feel that it's too early to use the sword in actual fighting. However, in order to acquire the G-Virus, that umbrella is available. You agree. Help to us. The power of the rail cannon is satisfactory, but please note that it's still having a few remaining problems. Technology Division Colonel Franklin Hare. Okay. Got it. So they have some sort of railgun thing. That's cool. Like, <laughs> missiles can cause that if I remember correctly. I mean, sure, but like, I didn't know they were already hitting. Uh, okay, a power distribution unit that is not working or something. Are there are there any puzzles, or do I need to just keep running? Uh, okay, maybe 
Oh, this is the rail gun. Um. Right. Okay. Bruh. Uh. I feel like I need to do something here. Okay. 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 System. Okay. Checking battery. Uh. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Cool. Let me fucking go hit the buttons then. I'm assuming we have to hit them in order, right? One, two, three. I mean, that would make sense. Here's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just hit the fucking buttons. That is marked as one. I get it. So fucking hit the button or whatever. Oh, we gotta push it in. Okay, that works. Okay, there's one. Stop fucking listening to the dude talk and just go. Oh god. Oh god. Why? Why? Why, Lord? No. Uh okay, Jill, stop watching him regenerate and just fucking run, dude. Cool whip. Uh it's Daddy something. Master Daddy, 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 no. <laughs> Don't. Uh. Fucking run away. Okay. Surely we're not actually fighting him at this point. Hopefully, like, the railgun's gonna do all the work. Right? And we just gotta, like, push this shit in and fucking go. Daddy, please. <laughs> uh. Okay. Number three. Number three. Oh, God. Okay, he's in place. Shoot. Just fucking shoot it right now. Shoot it. Shoot him. He's... Yes. Quick, quick charge and fire. Fucking shoot. Particle cannon to his face. Please and thank you. Duh. Hit the button maybe? Button? Something? I don't know what to do here. I, dude, I, I literally don't know what to do. Uh, do I need to go over here? Is there, like... Was that first thing a control panel or something? Like... I, I don't... I, I literally... Oh, do we just have to survive while it charges, maybe? It's making a sound in the background. Uh... Okay, it fired. Oh, dude, I don't think it hit him, though. I was kind of hoping you would shoot him and not just fucking blow a hole in the wall. Oh, God. That's all it did was blow a hole in the wall. Is he in front of it this time? What do you mean he's not in front of it? Get in front of it, you bastard. Nemo, bro. Okay. It's okay. So all we gotta do... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh. Uh. Is he in front of it? Why would you not stay in front of it? God damn it. Okay, he's in front of it. He's definitely in front of it this time. He's got to be dead, right? Dude, how are you still alive? Die, Nemesis. Holy shit, dude. We don't have time for this. I'm using I'm using the full heal. I don't want to risk I don't want to risk fucking dying. Oh god, hi, you look ugly. Okay, cutscene, that's a good sign. Pull, ho ho ho. It sounds like charging, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I didn't even see the message, I was so focused on <laughs> just <laughs> not fucking dying. Warning, system overheating. Enter cooldown mode. You did good, system, you did good. Uh, okay, I don't know where that door was.
Find the fucking door and get the hell out of here. Right there. Let's fucking go. How? No, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Just go, Joe. Run away. Fuck. Exterminate the monster. Magnum, do it. Do it, Jill. Do it. Yes. Jill the badass. Fucking kill it. Did you win? Hopefully. Not yet. But we're, we're like, we're right there. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Oh, Jill, such a badass. Okay. The fucking missile's getting close, though. Like, we need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I couldn't let it live. I couldn't let it live. When it gave me the option, I had to fucking do it, dude. Okay. Fucking run. Get the hell out of here now. <laughs> like, there is no time left. This thing is getting close. Uh, will you operate it? Sure. I don't know. Whatever the fuck we need to do to get the hell out of here. I hear a helicopter. Yes, dude, is that it? You can hear now? Well, welcome, Nate, first and foremost. I think you literally just caught us for the end. I think. I think this is fucking it. The ending cutscene. I guess we're all set. All right, then. We're out of here. Me and Carlos together forever. Oh, no. There's it's the fucking here. missile. So is it... Bye bye, Raccoon City. Now, I'm sorry, if you were that close to, to that kind of bomb going off, like, you're dead. Like, <laughs> I don't care if you're in a helicopter or not. Like, they were barely on the outskirts of the city, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, like, you're dead. If the explosion didn't kill you, the radiation from that blast would have. Like, <laughs> you're about to be a zombie of your own kind. Fuck yes, dude. Yeah, the blast radius alone would have obliterated them. Like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> and now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the president and the federal council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The president and federal council have ruled that the backless terminate operation dude. is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since Based on that fact, as shitty as that is, like, I totally get it. Like, if that were an IRL thing, you know? Of the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. Yeah, boy, I just, oh. I'm so happy. Oh, that felt good. Felt good to finish it up. Welcome, Nate, by the way. I'm glad you can make it, man. Bullshit. Like, I, I get it, though, from the president's standpoint. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh. oh, God. I thought it started to load back into, like, another gameplay thing or something. Nope, that's it. We got credits. Fuck yes, dude. Huh. That was good. That was good. It's a good game. Like, Resident Evil 1 was more puzzly. Two was a little less. Three's even less than that. Like, they were definitely from the outset, it seems like, heading more and more toward, you know, an action-y sort of experience. But, like, that's actually a pretty good game. Like, I had, I had fun with that one. And, uh, now that means we can complete Resident Evil 4 at some point. And, uh, was Resident Evil 5 on PlayStation 2? I think Resi 4 was the only one on 2, right? And then 5 and so on were on later consoles. Another game complete? Hell yeah. Too bad that's a PS1 game, not a PS2 game. But So it's not like officially for the gauntlet, but fuck it. It enables us to complete games on the PS2 if we want to. Like, uh, Zero was Zero on the PlayStation? I don't know. I think there were some spin-off titles. I have Zero already, but I have it for the GameCube. I'm not positive if it's out for... Yes, do or not. Don't know, man. That was good. 
I would suggest people play it if you're into Resident Evil at all. I would suggest it. It's a good game. And you only have to play through it once, <laughs> which is nice instead of having to play through it twice. And since it's randomized a little bit, even if you uh, watched me or someone else play through it, it uh, your playthrough may not be exactly the same as mine. And we never figured out what to do with those cards, right? The little plastic card things. I wonder if that's an easy mode thing. Because I know they give you new items and, and shit that they don't give you in, uh, in hard mode. Took six hours, 49 minutes, 36 seconds. I'm assuming that's not counting, like, uh, deaths when we reloaded and whatnot. Number of saves, 27. Yeah, we saved a lot of extra times. Grade, got a solid F. <laughs> and then look at that. We got, we got Jill and Carlos together forever, man. So, so fucking happy. You can play the extra game. Oh, yeah, somebody told me about this. I don't remember who it was. But somebody told me there was, uh, like, a whole side thing that you can do. You don't have to or anything, but, like, some sort of mission thing or something like that. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield. However, all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris is still alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. Done fucking done, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yep let's uh let's do another save because you know the game didn't already punish us for that you got a terrible grade man it's fine i wasn't going for a good grade if you're going for a good grade you just gotta try to beat the game as many times as possible with as few saves as possible essentially i i think that's like what the grade's all about uh let's see what that other thing is real quick before we exit out so we got new game there's hard mode now and easy mode uh load game what if we load our our complete save does that send us into the other game mode next game uh the mercenaries epilogue wait is the epilogue like literally just the epilogue or is it like another game that we can play epilogue files Oh, you know what? That's probably, like, all the different endings that you can get. That's probably what the epilogue files are. Okay, that's fine. Resident Load game. Evil. Let's see what the mercenaries thing is about real quick before we get off. Checking memory card. Next game. Uh, mercenaries. Operation Mad Jackal? What? What is this? Okay, so that's the same sort of config thing. So wait, do you play like a little a little thing on the mercenary side of things? Or what is... Uh, mercenaries, mad, jackal. Oh, okay, so we get to pick a character. Nikolai fucking sucks. Uh, Mikau, he seemed all right. Let's, uh, he doesn't have much in the way of heals, though. Let's go with, let's go with just Carlos, man. Carlos seems to be, like, you know, balanced. Welcome. The rules are simple. In order to dispose of the bomb implanted in your body, you must reach the target point. Keep in mind that there will be various obstacles in your way, so do not be afraid to use whatever means necessary to reach your goal. Good luck. <laughs> okay, so what? It said we had a bomb planted in us, and we had to reach the end to have the bomb removed or something like that? Uh, oh. Wait, so what, is the red zone the fucking... 
place we're trying to get to? Oh. Oh, dude, we only got two minutes? What the fuck? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Some sort of side game thing, but I don't, I don't think it's like necessary for the story of the game or anything like that to complete. I'm pretty sure it's like completely optional. I don't think if we're trying to get to the red zone, then there's probably no point in like fighting anything, right? Wouldn't it be better just to dodge? Uh, okay. In some instances, maybe you can't, like here. Oh, you actually get extra time for killing shit, too. Okay, good to know, good to know. In that case, then, I guess it makes a little more sense to kill stuff. And you get extra time for combos. Okay, so it's just like a neat little escape mode or whatever, reusing the same map. That's kind of neat. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna spend too much time on it, but... It's a neat concept. Do we get time for killing the birds? We do. But that also uses up a lot of our ammo that we probably uh shouldn't be shouldn't be wasting. <laughs> Especially on fucking birds of all things. And then yeah, we just have the the mixed herbs. Oh dude, the fucking eagle. We never gotta mess around with the eagle though. Are we are we dead? No, okay, good. Stand up, zombie. Oh, just took his head straight off. Is it a one-shot on everything? No, it's not. That's lame. Are we using the handgun now? Or Oh, no. No, it's got one shot left. Damn, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah, dude. Mow him down. You're still fucking alive? How are you still alive? Fucking die, you bastards. Okay. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly where we're going or what we're doing, and I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Especially since we're already over time. So uh we're we're I think we're gonna call it there. Thank you again, guys, for being here with me. Nate, Noodle, uh Rue, of course, for, for being here for pretty much the whole thing, man. I really do appreciate it, guys. Y'all are the best people I could ask for to hang out with me while I play video games and uh, do this crazy PS2 gauntlet thing. So, like, seriously, appreciate it. And, uh, what is today? Today is Saturday. So, tomorrow is Sunday. Normally, we would be doing the podcast on Sundays. But, again, I just helped the Dorseman move today. And because of that, I don't think, like, any of his shit's set up right now. Like, his computer, anything. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take him to get any of that set up. So... Uh, oh, the eagle uses regular handgun bullets? Sorry. Uh, anyways, so I don't know if the podcast is going to happen tomorrow or not, sadly. Um, hopefully, we need to do, or like, hopefully we'll, we'll get back into the podcast here soon. But like, I, I, I just don't know, to be honest, when or if it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got shit he needs to do for us anyway for the kid, right? Yeah, that's why, like, they got the new house. Um, and, uh, because they only lived in a one-bedroom apartment before. And this is a, a bigger two-bedroom place with, like, a yard and all that shit. Um, and, like, yeah, they need to get it set up and all that BS, you know. He's about to have a kid. It's understandable that he's, uh, running a little behind on the whole podcast thing. The worst baby needs room. Hell yes. They're excited. I'm excited for it, too, for them to have the baby. It should be good. It should be good. But uh, regardless, any uh, all I was saying is, so I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow night, but if not, I'll be back on Tuesday for some sort of PS2 goodness. And uh, yeah, of course, I hope to see you all there. Have a wonderful night now, y'all. Bye-bye. Oh, for sure that I'm uh, not.